Hey guys, how are you doing? Just chilling in my garden today. Oh wait, I don't have a garden. This is weird. Oh my god, it's all a set. It's all fake. What is this? It's all lies. I can't believe it. It's terrible. Just kidding. It's a pretty cool set though, right? I mean, we've got all the gardeny stuff. We've got fake plants. We've got weird rock and roll guy. Um, lots of alcohol. It's not mine, I promise. Like, I don't drink that much. I swear. But anyway, it got me in the mood to make some summery desserts. So today, I'm going to be making a lemon no-bake easy cheesecake. Cheesecake! That's the cheesecake bell, in case you're wondering. I've never made a no-bake cheesecake on this channel before. I've always done ones that you have to bake in the oven, which are awesome. But this one is super easy, and it just goes in the fridge, and it sets, and it becomes all firm and nice and tasty and awesome. You guys are going to love it, so let's do this. Here we go. So first up, as with any cheesecake, we need to make a buttery biscuit base. It's pretty simple, just going to need some digestive biscuits and some melted butter. Here's some I melted earlier. So first up, I'm going to do 150 grams of biscuits. It's quite a lot of biscuits. And then we need to mash these up into like a fine bread crummy consistency, if we can manage that. So originally I found this recipe and it was to make a whole big cheesecake, but I thought it would be fun to break it up and make some individual ones, and that way you can like eat a few of them and feel less guilty. But also they'll chill in the refrigerator a lot quicker and then they'll be ready to eat sooner, so that is a big bonus right there. Okay, this is taking a while. If you have a food processor, this might be a lot easier. I think I need a bigger bowl, I'm gonna switch. See look, then I can go like this. Such genius, oh my god. Oh, I think I deserve a medal after that. Okay, back into the smaller bowl, because we'll need this big bowl for later. And then add in the melted butter into those biscuity breadcrumbs. And give that a mix. Okay, now that it's all good, we're finally there with the buttery biscuit base. Gonna get over my ramekins and we can start filling them up. So I'm just gonna pour a bit into each one, probably so it's about, I don't know, a centimeter or so deep. It's totally up to you how much of a biscuity base you want. If you want it thicker, then you can add more in, or if you want it less of a base, then you can add less. And then when you're happy with the amount of biscuity base you've got, take the, a spoon and compress the biscuit base down into the bottom of the ramekin so it's nice and compact. And there we go, that is looking good. Now, whilst we make the filling of the cheesecake, these can go into the fridge to cool and set, and so they become nice and solidified and hard again. Okay, and now for the cheesecake filling. This bit's super simple, it's actually only four ingredients that go into it. Um, first up, gonna need to get some juice and zest out of the lemon. I'm only gonna need about half of the lemon. And we want to squeeze all the juice out of that into a bowl. And we also want some zest from the lemon. Now, super awesome top tip is you should get the zest before you juice the lemon because it makes it a lot easier and I kind of forgot about that. Silly me, but not to worry, we'll use the other half of the lemon instead to get the zest. Next up, need to add in three tablespoons of regular sugar. And then of course, we're gonna need a nice big tub of full fat cream cheese. Can't make cheesecake without some cream cheese. And then just before we add in the double cream, I'm gonna mix that all together until it's nice and smooth and creamy. Good. And then the final ingredient for the filling is some double cream, 140 mils, which just so happens to be exactly half of one of these. And give it a final mix until it thickens up. Okay, so the ramekins are out the fridge and nice and cool. The bases are all hard and we're good to get filling with the filling. Oh, this is good. Cannot wait for these to be ready to eat. The great thing about no-bake cheesecakes is you can lick the spoon because you know there's no raw egg in there as well. Mm. We can also just give them a little jiggle just to make sure they're completely level and set. It's a technical term there, a good jiggle. Perfect, and back into the fridge for a few hours to completely cool and set. You might notice that one's missing, um, very strange, but I put them into the fridge at the place that I'm filming this video and one just mysteriously disappeared. So I'm kind of like giving shifty eyes to everyone in this building right now. Not happy. 
Someone stole my cheesecake. But it's fine, we've got four. There are four remaining. I saved some of the biscuit crumbs from earlier, so I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top of each one as a nice little bit of decoration. And to give it a bit of extra crunch. I'm so excited. I'm really impressed with how well they've come out. Just visually. Let's see how they taste. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh man, I love cheesecake. So good. Gonna have to come back to that in a sec. It is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the recipe. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Give it a thumbs up for cheesecake. Otherwise I'll be ringing that cheesecake bell one more time if you don't. Do check out my other food recipe videos I've made on this channel. Especially other cheesecakes that I've done. I've done quite a few. And they're all really good. Links are down below in the description. Hit the red subscribe button if you are not yet a regular viewer. But otherwise I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye.